how to perform a three-way streak to isolate bacterial colonies. Make sure you have the following three items in front of you at your workstation. A sterile TSA plate, an inoculating loop, a TSA plate that contains isolated colonies of E. coli that has been pre-prepared for you. Before you begin, make sure you are working beside your Bunsen burner, which will help to minimize possible contamination risks. Next, divide your plate into three sections using a T-shaped division, numbering each section as shown. The label the bottom of your TSA plate around the edge using a permanent marker. The following details should be included. Your name, the name of the bacteria, which will be underlined to denote italics, the date. Before beginning, you must sterilize your inoculating loop using the Bunsen burner. Place the loop into the middle of the flame until it is red hot. Remove from the flame and allow to cool for 20 seconds in order to avoid killing the bacteria that you will pick up using this loop. Next, remove a single isolated colony from the pre-prepared E. coli plate using your now sterile loop. Streak this colony onto section one of your sterile TSA plate using a single continuous zigzag line. Note that the opened plate is held close to the flame and the lid is left in the updraft of the Bunsen burner. Re-sterilize your loop and allow to cool for 20 seconds. Rotate your TSA plate 90 degrees to the right. Starting in section one, recharge your loop by streaking from section one into section two. Again, replace the plate immediately afterwards. Re-sterilize your loop and allow to cool for 20 seconds. Rotate your TSA plate a further 90 degrees to the right and recharge your loop by going back into section two and streaking into section three. Before you put your loop back down on the bench, make sure you re-sterilize it by placing it into the flame. It can now be left down and you can be confident that there is no bacteria remaining. 